Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 10th anniversary of Antigua Forum. We're with Rob Schimens, Executive Director of Stossel in the Classroom. Welcome, Rob. Thank you. It's great to be here. What is Stossel? Well, Stossel in the Classroom began somewhere about 13 years ago as a way to take John's videos and get them to teachers so students could see another side to what uh, is popular in the news. And it's not always that government is the answer. Uh, often that government is the problem. So Stossel in the Classroom has been great. There's uh, over 100,000 teachers use our materials. And because of that, there are students learning about liberty in the United States who would not have learned about it otherwise. Could you give us a, an example sort of to anyone who's going to be watching us from home so they understand how it works in, in the classroom? Could you give us a concrete bit more of an example, please? Sure. Uh, initially, they were just given the DVD with some curriculum. And now we write full blown lessons for almost all of the videos that we post so that it's not here's a five minute video, figure out what you're going to do in a 40 minute class period. Um, there are a lot of materials that go with it, previewing materials, but the, the videos can range from uh, the unintended consequences of regulations, the, the downside of taxation, uh, how regulations interfere with job creation and people's inability to get jobs. So it's, it's really perfect for students because they're getting that, they're just getting one side and this makes them think, hey, maybe these rules, these regulations aren't working in our best interests. So Rob, could you explain with an example a bit more um, about Stossel in the classroom? I understand there are different sides and the basic idea is not to feed the kids what's coming out in the news with one own, you know, one single perspective which wants to be sort of forced into them. Could you explain a bit more about that? American history classes, we have tended to teach students that the government regulations that have expanded over time have been in their best interests. And that's an important piece of history. And while Stossel videos don't cover history per se, they cover the, the negative consequences of regulations at times. So the teachers who are willing to use our materials are generally those who realize that we're not providing a balance to students, they're not getting to see the full picture, and by presenting John's videos, they can get to decide for themselves what they think about an issue such as regulations. And uh, it's, it's important to let students see both sides or multiple sides so that they can draw their own conclusions rather than just draw the conclusions that the teacher wants or the, the school. Why is critical thinking under such an immense assault? Critical thinking is important because we need people to make decisions that are based on facts or based on reality, not based on something that was just drilled into them for 12 years. Uh, if I could just expand, the, one student once said, well, you're, you're presenting these uh, libertarian views. When do you show us the other side? And I said, I was a little brash about it. I said, you've had 11 years of the other side. I don't believe it's my duty to, to split my time to give you 11 and a half years and present half a year of the, the, the liberty view. It's, you've had that side. But for those teachers who feel the need to do that balance in their classroom, we've created that both sides feature. And, and that's been our most popular feature because we can now reach the teachers on various, uh, of, of various ideologies or philosophies because the materials are there and they can feel that they're 
presenting balanced information. So even if you're a pro-regulatory teacher, you've at least got the other side to feel good about yourself showing, well, at least I showed my students both sides. And, and that's important too. What main challenges do you find for freedom in the United States at the moment? The fact that there's not a lot of mainstream information about the freedom movement, about what the goals are. It's, it's clearly biased in favor of more government, whether it's government clearly trying to promote itself, politicians usually do. The, the media is, is not, uh, not unbiased. They're not presenting various views fairly. One, one side is demonized. And it's often the side that favors more freedom, less regulations. I think that's the biggest challenge. I think the schools are, uh, I, I believe, somewhere like 95% of American students are in public schools. And we don't do a good job getting into public schools or trying to get materials to students. 25 years ago when I started teaching, there was almost nothing available for high school teachers. And maybe seven years in, the Stossel materials became available. And I thought, wow, this is fantastic. Here's one of my biggest contentious points. We do damage to our movement by constantly berating what goes on in public schools so that people who are liberty oriented do not at all entertain the idea of becoming public school teachers. It's like waging a war for freedom and we refuse to step onto the battlefield. And I think that's where the, that's where the fault is ours. Thank you very much, Rob. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being here, and um, congratulations to UFM on its 50th year and on the Antigua Forum's 10th anniversary. Thanks again. We should be promoting teachers. We should be saying to young people, become teachers. If you really believe in freedom, become teachers, because that's where you have tremendous impact. <laughs>